From a point on the ground, a particle is projected with initial velocity u. Such that its horizontal range is maximum. The magnitude of average velocity during its ascent is. When a particle is projected with an initial velocity u. By making an angle 45 degrees with the horizontal. Why? Because they mentioned range is maximum. And we have to find out the magnitude of the average velocity during its ascent. So the path followed by the object is a parabola. Within the time of ascent, particle reaches to the maximum height. At maximum height, particle possess only horizontal component of the velocity. Within the time of ascent, particle covers both horizontal displacement at the same time, vertical displacement. Here, horizontal displacement is equals to half of the maximum range. And vertical displacement is equals to maximum height. Magnitude of the resultant displacement is equals to square root of square of the horizontal displacement plus square of the vertical displacement. Magnitude of the average velocity is equals to magnitude of the displacement by time of ascent. Here we have to find out R maximum at the same time H maximum. H maximum is equals to U square sin square theta by 2G. U square sin 45 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 whole square is equals to 1 by 2. U square by 4G. R maximum is equals to u square by g because sin 2 theta is equals to 1. But we want r maximum by 2. r maximum by 2 is equals to u square by 2g. And time of ascent. Time of ascent is equals to u sin theta by g. That is equals to in place of sin theta 1 by root 2. u by root 2 g. And find out magnitude of the displacement square root of in place of horizontal displacement or maximum by 2 u square by 2g whole square plus vertical displacement is h maximum u square by 4g whole square and now take u square by g common and write out of the square root u square by g square root of 1 by 2 whole square 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 whole square 1 by 16. LCM is 16. 16, 4, 4, 16 and 16 once. u square into root 5 by square root of 16 is equals to 4. 4 g. This is magnitude of displacement. And now magnitude of average velocity is equals to magnitude of displacement root 5 into u square by 4g by time of ascent u by root 2g. That is equals to root 5 u square by 4g into root 2g by u. When u get cancelled, g also cancelled and simplify this into root 2 by root 2. Root 2 into root 2, 2. 2 ones, 2 twos. So average velocity is equals to root 5 into u by 2 root 2. This is magnitude of average velocity. First option is correct.